numerous countries did that, o Australia, Canada. He should come home. Um, we have empathy for his family. I, I, I've seen pictures of his mom and his dad, and my heart goes out to them. You know, they want their son home no matter what. And I understand that. Our beef is not with the fact that he's home, um, but be honest. Um, to treat him as a hero, he wasn't a hero. To have, you know, high up officials say that he served with honor and distinction. And I think what happened is, is that got quite a few service members who knew the truth upset. And this is where it snowballed, and, and it, it doesn't make sense. And it dawned on me as I'm t talking to this young man, you know, and he... Was it fair for me to lose my son because he decided to desert? Was it fair to his f fellow soldiers who were brothers in arms with him to leave them behind? Was it fair for them to go out looking for him, worried about what was going on with them? Or him? He never once, you know, he left, he left his country behind. He, he just walked off. And, and then to find out that he was asking for the Taliban, you know, there's a, an American man looking for the Taliban, you know, that was heard. Do we not protect the United States of America's interests? We were told that he was on a patrol. Um, a little bit of details about what happened um, and what happened to Lieutenant uh, Andrews. But that was the extent of it. Um, it wasn't until probably, I don't know, a year, year and a half ago that we started to hear whispers that um, they were out looking for Bergdahl. That's why we're here. That's why we're doing this. Nobody's paying our way. You know, they got him stabilized and they sent him to Germany. And there I saw my son. You know, I got to visit with him for a few days. And then as a parent, we had to make a delicate decision to, to let him go. We love our country, too. We do.